Um, so it's actually quite simple when it gets broken down, but when it comes to SolidWorks and its assembly files, the assembly files are made up of part files, and if they're not in the, all the right folders, uh, then you'll start experiencing problems. So there's kind of two main problems that you'd experience, which I'm going to break down for you, um, which is uh, if you've moved the folder somewhere, and all of a sudden you open up your assembly and you find that it can't see your part and it suppressed it, uh, or let's say you've, um, you've emailed your assembly to someone and they can't open it on their end, um, that's just going to be because of a few typical problems which are actually really simple to solve. So uh, this is our assembly here and it's just made up of uh, casing which you can see PCB shell, the casing, the shell. So that part is in this folder. We got the, uh, the screws um, and we've got these threaded inserts and they're in the PCB screws folder. So those are just parts in this assembly, but they're in there. Um, and then we've got the components, uh, which if I isolate you can see these components inside um, so they're in this folder so they're just parts in a folder uh, just one part file and this assembly uh, that we're looking at here that is in this folder here so this assembly folder is making connection with the parts in this folder this folder and this folder so they're all linked to that assembly folder. Now, um, if I close that assembly, so let's say I wanted to put the screws into just another random folder um, for whatever reason. When I go to open my assembly back up, we can get an error message straight off the bat. This is probably what you've you might have seen, uh, which is why you might be here. So, um, two files were suppressed. Zero place files were open from new location. And you can look at the report, but really you don't need to because you know what's happened here. So, you say close and you can see on the left hand side the bolts and the uh, threaded inserts which were in this folder which before was on the desktop that can no longer recognize the path to those files because it's broken it's lost its link so in this scenario it's really simple what you'd have to do is you would just have to put your part folder of the screws back in its original location which was on the desktop in this case um, so let's just do that so you can see don't save, that's important and I put my part back my part folder back to its original location and I open my assembly back up again problem solved you can see the screws there and I'm not going to get an error message and when I look on my left hand side I can see they're both no longer suppressed so it's it's found its broken link because I returned the part folder back to its original location as a, a second scenario which you may be experiencing a problem with which is um, let's say you're working with somebody and they want to see the SolidWorks assembly file and what you've done is you sent them this assembly file. Uh, so let's just give you an example. I've gone here and I've sent myself the assembly file. And this is what someone would experience on the other end when you've emailed it to them uh, if they get this singular assembly file. So I'm just going to download that so folder. Pop up. 
going to put on my desktop for the moment. So this was the assembly file which you would have sent to somebody um, when they're trying to open it on their end they're going to get four so there was a four parts in the flight in the assembly file all of them were suppressed uh, and that is because you have sent the assembly file but all the parts are in these separate folders so when they try to open it up as I have just now the assembly file doesn't have the part files included so it it can't open the parts within the assembly because there are no parts <coughs> so moving on to the actual solution uh, it's the pack and go so what we really want to do <coughs> to fix this problem is we want the assembly file and all of the part files in these folders to be in just one folder and I'll show you exactly how to do that so we're going to open up our assembly again start a new folder wherever but I'm doing on the desktop and uh, people get really confused with this but it's actually really really simple so you go to pack and go with your so right now we're in this folder and the assembly within that folder and what we get is this dialog box and um, these tick boxes at the top they're all of these extra things like do you want to bring in a uh, like a, an appearance do you want it to have the same scene and background settings and all these things so usually just if they're all unselected um, it's not a problem but if you've got drawings just just select all of them uh, but in this case I'm not going to just to keep it simpler but um, what you've got below is uh, a list of all of the parts and the assembly in this assembly uh, this is telling us which folder these are all in so you can see the assemblies in the assembly folder but all of the parts are in their part folders which are up here um, so that's the folders so that's the file names the folders they're in now we want to say save to name so what is the new name we want to call it and save to folder which is the new folder we want to we want to send this to so you can go through manually change it one by one like that excuse me like so um, and you can do the same with the with the file names um, but the quicker way you can do that is if it's set so it's saying save to folder which is also the same here so I'm just going to browse this is going to allow me to save all of it in one go to that folder pack and go select yeah so now all of them are going to the pack and go assembly folder uh, and add a prefix or a suffix is just to the file name so the file name here we want to give it sort of a unique identity versus what it was 
when it was in these parts in this assembly folder just so it's it's different so logically I'm just going to put the date which is 3005 2019 and I'm going to say yeah just enter to click OK so now that's just saying that they've all changed their name so they're all the same but the suffix is the date at the end of each file name so you say OK save and this is it sending all of these files in these folders to this folder now this is important don't don't press control save or um, save as just close that down it's going to say do you want to save say no and now if we look in our pack and go assembly folder you can see the assembly up here I'm just getting large so our assembly up here all of our parts, the components, the shell, the screw, the threaded insert uh, and so now you've got all of your parts which were in these folders and your assembly which is in this folder and it's all in this folder and they're completely dissociated so now this is his own thing and those are their own things um, so now if you wanted to email this to somebody and uh, you wanted them to successfully open it up on their end uh, it's really quite simple all you would do is uh, presuming you've got some sort of zipping software on your PC or Mac uh, you would just zip it if you haven't got a zipper you just go to Google type in download file zipper and you'll get something so now if I email that to in this case myself If I check if that's come in, yeah. And download. Find that in this folder. made this folder which I'm going to put this pack and go assembly in because it's uh, it's going to be a copy of this um, so I don't want them to do the same thing so uh, right click it and this is what someone on the other end of your email will be doing extract here and they get a nice neat and tidy folder with the assembly file and all of its parts in so when they attempt to open the assembly success like we're seeing here um, so usually that error message pops up with the these files have been suppressed because they can't find their parts but in this case this can find all of its parts because they're in this they're in the folder um, and they haven't been moved around so uh, for more unpacking go something something something